In today's video, we're using Phoenix Shaving Fresco, coming right up. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. I'm your host, John, aka Latherhog. So glad you stopped by today. If this is your first time here and you're just looking for more information on things related to wet shaving, you've come to the right place. So I'm back from vacation and I have quite the backlog of products, both software and hardware, that I am just dying to use and record and share my thoughts. So uh, you might see a slight uptick in videos as I'm trying to just wait, work my way through that list. But first up, uh, I've got a lot of vacation scruff. Uh, haven't shaved, been jet lagged to heck. So we are using something that came in before I left and that is Phoenix Shaving Fresco. Before moving on, just a bit of disclosure that the soap and aftershave of Fresco I'm using today uh, were provided as a gift by Douglas from Phoenix Shaving. So if you don't prefer to watch videos covering free product, feel free to check out a different video uh, and just move on with your day, no problem. So a bit on Fresco, this is inspired by a vintage scent, something that Phoenix Shaving uh, likes to cover uh, in their catalog. And this one is heavily inspired by Old Spice Fresh Scent. Uh, it's not one that I'm familiar with myself. Uh, I am so-so uh, as far as the scent of you know, old school Old Spice. Uh, it's something I might reach for like once a year, once or twice a year, but uh, it's not something that I'm chasing all the time. Uh, that being said, let us take a look. Oh, well, first the label right there. So looking at the label, we can see the kind of common themes uh, that Phoenix Shaman often uses, sci-fi, kind of uh, little spacey out there, pulp novels, all that good stuff. And let me take the lid off. There's also a side label. Oftentimes I forget to show you guys the side label, but not all soaps have said side label. I know in particular it's hard to get uh, get the side labels on, so they usually apply by hand. Uh, sometimes they can get on a little wonky, but this one looks, you know, this one looks like it's been put on uh, the straight and narrow. So uh, let's sniff off the tub here. So to my nose, I think it's kind of fairly strong off the tub. It's about a six out of 10. And as far as the scent itself, I can't pick out any you know, singular note. Uh, it does though have the overwhelming vibe of a old school classic you know, aftershave type scent that is powdery and musky. And there's definitely also some floral coming off, um, coming off the scent initially. So uh, also a little backstory that I shared in a previous video is that um, I mentioned already that Douglas sent over this package and actually it was meant uh, to come in before the official release of Fresco, which is already about at the recording of this video. Maybe like it was two or three, maybe more, uh, maybe almost up to a month ago. There was no requirement whatsoever to feature this in a video or in a photo or all that. Just a uh, just something that he sent of his own free will. And uh, this package unfortunately got sent to my old address <laughs> Luckily, the current owner of my old home got in contact with me through Facebook. We were able to connect. Uh, this is only also about 10 minutes away, uh, 10 minute drive for me. Also, just in general, wanted to try more products from Phoenix Shaving this year. So I'm just happy it arrived. And even though it's been some time, um, we're still gonna cover it today. And I'll share my you know, honest thoughts and opinions on this. So before we get to the shave, let me show you what else we're using today. First up for my razor is something I featured in my recent mail call and unboxing video, and that is none other than the Timeless Razor Titanium Slim with the crown handle. It was something that I got to try on a pass around, really enjoyed, and then picked up for myself. The razor is loaded up with a Gillette Silver Blue Blade, and I'm really looking forward to using this guy today. And lastly, for my brush that's been soaking in my Thirsty Badger brush soaker is something that I thought would match kind of the vintage old school feel. Uh, it's this classic looking brush from Chisel and Hound. And I honestly forgot which version of uh, the Fantrain this is, but I'll be sure to plug it in in the notes afterwards. But this is, 
you know, great looking, great feeling handle. And again, I think it complements uh, the old school vibes of today's shave. If you're enjoying the video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider becoming a subscriber to the Lather Hog channel. Also, I want to invite you guys to check out the Lather Talk Discord to interact with fellow wet shaving enthusiasts, listeners of the Lather Talk podcast, and just all around cool people. All right, so I've got the brush loaded up nice and good. And so we're gonna go into the face lather and I'll talk a little bit more about the specifics on the scent. So as I mentioned at the top of the video, this one is inspired by Old Spice Fresh Scent. This one falls in the category of a aromatic fougere. And there is a long list of scent notes, but I checked on the Phoenix Shaving website and found a simplified version and breakdown of the scent, which I'll share with you right now. So the notes in the simplified breakdown uh, include herbaceous, eucalyptus, citrus fresh, cardamom, spicy green, balsam, woody, patchouli, and mossy. So in the simplified breakdown, it's more giving you, um, instead of individual notes, it's the kind of the, the way the notes are combined will give certain, certain vibes. Like mo mossy definitely includes like oak moss and most old school scents, uh, both in you know, perfumes as well as aftershaves often use oak moss uh, back in the day. And even those, those large breakdowns give you an idea of what that whole category of aromatic fougere is, which, you know, instead of like just green, it's a spicy green. And there's, uh, I believe citrus is actually always a part of aromatic fougeres as well. As I'm lathering and really just kind of sitting with the scent, I mean, I can't get past the fact that it smells like a vintage, you know, shaving, uh, grooming product. Overall, that's just, that's the vibe I'm getting here. The citrus and the green and the woody, it's, it's really well blended and it kind of just all merges together. I'm not picking out individual notes so like of orange or lavender or what have you. It's just that overall old school vibe. And I'm kind of, it's kind of hit or miss for me. I've, I've mentioned multiple times in the past, like, um, Brute is a old school aftershave. I believe it's in the Fougere family. That's one that I don't like in particular. Um, Aqua Velva, I like on occasion. I guess kind of like Old Spice. Like any of them I can use on occasion. As far as Fresco goes, I do like it better and obviously with like, you know, modern technology and whatnot, modern production methods. I think this is just a more pleasant uh, and smoother scent overall. All right, so here we go in with the Timeless Titanium Slim. I'm just getting reacquainted and observing how the, how the tie slim is doing and it is performing wonderfully. You can see how much scruff that was on. This is the right side of my face. It might be reflected for you guys, but um, it's just removing that scruff with no problem whatsoever. My recent vacation was two weeks in beautiful Hawaii. That's where my wife grew up, so it's not just, um, it was two weeks, nice, you know, a nice proper vacation, but it's really also a family trip as her parents and uh, just about, just about all of her relatives are there too. But the nice thing besides um, 
catching up and meeting up with family is I have a few friends there. An old college roommate lives there. Although we weren't able to get together this time because of scheduling conflicts. I was able to meet and where I can, I will share photos here, but I was also able to meet up with Arvin, who is one of all, one of the moderators on the Lather Talk Discord. And I was able to meet up with his family, along with my family, and just had a really nice like Saturday morning afternoon together. So Arvin, if you're watching this, thank you again. It's a pleasure to meet you and your family in person. Really not too bad for a first pass here. You can see it knocked a lot of that <laughs> scruff and stubble out of the way, but I'm gonna lather up now for the second pass. One well, other thing about vacations is just trying to pack lightly. And so for my shave, up, shave set up this time, I had brought with me the Razor Rock Game Changer 0.84 Close Comb Razor. Astra SP was my blade. And the Razor Rock, um, the BC plus soft silver, silver tip. One of my favorite, kind of easy to get and affordable synthetic brushes. And that was my travel companion as well. I didn't bring any post shave. I just used my normal face lotion that has some SPF in it. That Hawaiian sun is strong. <laughs> don't, you don't, don't want to get sunburn. In general, you, you do want a face lotion with SPF or to use SPF on top of face lotion anyway, regardless of <laughs> you know tropical sun or not. And then soap wise, um, I brought along a few samples and used that. The funny thing, so I got to, using the set, same setup for, you know, two weeks, I did quickly find out that I didn't love the pairing of the Game Changer and the Astro Blade. It was a little too mild. So if I just stick with, you know, my Gillette Silver Blues, or Nassets, or Rapira, Platinum Lux. It was just a matter of, it wasn't uncomfortable by any means. It was just a matter of efficiency. And I guess it's too smooth a combination. Smooth razor and smooth blade left me wanting for more efficiency. All right, so we're lathered up and ready to go for pass number two. And this razor just feels great. I really do think it's right up there with my current favorite razor, uh, the Blackland Titanium Blackbird. I won't really be really able to be able to tell you the differences between the two. I mean, they perform similarly, but razors do have their differences, but just, you know, using them in isolation, I couldn't really rattle them off to you right now. So I think that what that means is a razor battle coming up in the near future. You know, I'm not usually running out to grab these kind of old school scents that Fresco um, falls into, but of the of the old school scents I that I do like to use, I think I would include I would include Fresco in that. Um, I think my 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 favorite scent that I have um, as far as my shaving gear goes, uh, kind of in that genre, is. Uh, imaginary authors telegramma as far as old-school aftershaves with a modern twist that one 
uh, that one really checks all the boxes for me and that's the one to kind of um, to take down <laughs> if, if uh, old school scent is kind of vying for that spot. So while Fresco doesn't necessarily knock Telegramma out of you know out of its spot, um, it does uh, it does a good job hanging with it. The scent memory triggers, funny enough, is kind of foamy in the can shaving cream, that kind of scent. Uh, I think it might be the floral aspect or there's some particular note or notes that make me think of that foamy shaving cream. And Fresco is, you know, first and foremost, that's what it brings to mind. And uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing, despite, you know, uh, it doesn't, you know, the, that shavey, shavey foam stuff doesn't provide the best shaves, but um, as far as the time in my life, which someone just starting to shave like early teenage years and whatnot, um, it's, a, it's a pleasant memory that brings back to. So. All right, so second pass, no problem whatsoever. Software and hardware doing a great job. Just need a little bit of a cleanup pass and then we'll wrap things up. All right, so great all around shave today. And we're gonna finish things up with the matching fresco after shave splash here. Give that a good shake, open her up. All right, so round up on my thoughts on fresco. Um, it's, uh, I think it boils down that it's a like and not a love, um, given the information I shared about my relationship with some of these old school aftershave type scents. Of that genre, I do enjoy Fresco, but in general, it's not something I typically look for or seek out, but I'm really happy that this option and other scents like this are out there. I think that nostalgia is a big component of uh, people who really take a deep dive into wet shaving. They want to experience and trigger the scent memories that uh, reminds them of their fathers, grandfathers, other important relatives um, and loved ones, you know, that um, helped us become um, the adults that we are. So I totally get it. And I, I really do hope, you know, despite whatever modern fragrances and cologne dupes and stuff, um, which I might, uh, you know, I might gravitate towards. Uh, I do think that, that that vintage aspect, the thing that connects us to our own, you know, our own personal histories is super important. I and mean, that's, that's kind of, that's what really derives people that um, get into this hobby, especially, you know, talk about like vintage razors, you know, old, old Gillette razors, looking for and reviving um, old type scents like this one, like Old Spice Fresh Scent, which, um, you know, without Fresco, I, that, I'd never heard of that scent. It wouldn't have been on my radar, but in the end, you know, it's a, it's a very pleasant scent. Um, that, that takes me back to my, you know, personally to my teenage years. And um, I think even though I might not be like totally in love with the scent, uh, I definitely appreciate it for what it is. So um, to, to Douglas and Fran of Phoenix Shaving, thank you again for the opportunity to try this. For those of you watching at home, I also do want to hear from you. Have you used Fresco? Uh, and you know, what is your opinion on old school aftershave type scents? Is it something that you go for? Is it something that you don't really engage with? Whatever the case might be, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I wanna thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your busy schedule and joining me for this shave. I really hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.